on pole position again then for the third race was Ryan Vickers here at Brands Hatch and just as he done in the previous two races he got a great start to lead early on from the back of the grid Glenn Irwin had a lot of work to do a little twitch there as he tried to make his way into the points Tommy Bridewell was just outside the top five as Kyle Ryan pushed through on Andy Irwin to move up into second place to make it an OMG 1-2. Krishnan was making great progress. This lovely move down into Graham Hill on Tommy Bridewell to move up one spot. And then on the other Honda rider, Andy Irwin, to move up inside the top three. Tommy Bridewell then pounced on his teammate Andy Irwin ultimately to get himself up inside that top five. But no one was catching Vickers out front. The trademark move from Bridewell on Irwin meant that he could then try and go hunting for the likes of Kyle Ride and Christian Iden. As they made their way into uh, Hawthorne, Haslam made up a place on Jason O'Halloran. Glenn Irwin making excellent progress up inside the top 10. Nice move on uh, Nesbitt. Followed up by a lovely move on the Rocket BMW rider, Leon Haslam. Bridewell did get on terms with the likes of Ride and Iden, but uh, upon sensing that, Iden made his move on Kyle Ride to move up into second place. Ride did bite back, keen not to uh, invite Bridewell into the equation, but Iden was having none of it. Back through on the approach to Surtees to move up into second place, but there was no catching the eventual race winner. It was the treble, the Monster Energy King of Brands, unstoppable. All weekend, Ryan Vickers took the win ahead of Christian Niddon and Kyle Wright.